Good evening everyone, this is Bremser and tonight I'm coming to you with the first in the next series of Sudoku U puzzles. Now I need to make a quick apology to someone, which is Crusader175. I recorded a puzzle of Crusader175's um, about a week ago in order for it to be released on the channel and then I looked at my schedule and the puzzle is absolutely coming, but because of the Sudoku U thing and the fact that I have a, a puzzle of my own I want to release on a particular day, the I've I've had to bump that a week. Um, so I'm really sorry. Um, that that's just something that happened um, in order to keep these puzzles together and have the puzzle I wanted released um, at a, on a particular day releasing on that day. So um, I'm really sorry, but the puzzle is coming. Um, and there'll be stuff that I say in the intro to that video because I'm assuming it was actually going to be released sort of today. But if I released it today, then then did the Sudoku U series, which is when I promised to do it, then I the video I wanted to release on a particular day would have come in the middle of the pack and it just would have been a nightmare. I didn't want to do that. So um, I, I'm really sorry. I've had to flip my schedule around and a couple of weird things happening and... Uh, um, but I always have to record in advance because I suffer from migraines and if I have a migraine then everything goes to pot and everything is just messy and so I try and have all the videos queued so if I disappear for a few days that's all okay. So I'm sorry about the shuffle everyone um, and particularly Crusader 175. The rest of you wouldn't have even noticed but the puzzle was already delayed a couple of months and then I've had to push it back another week so sorry about that. Let's have a look at The Quiet 15 by Golden Gate and Hallelujah. What is the Sudoku U series? Well, these are puzzles that are created in full deck and missing a few cards, puzzles and paradoxes class, I think it is. I normally have that to hand. Um, and the students create puzzles as part of that. And these are some of the puzzles from that class. So the series is puzzles that are created by as part of the classwork. Um, and I, I think it's just wonderful that this is happening, that um, we have places that are teaching logic and critical thinking and ways of presenting um, problems, um, not just Sudoku, but it's, it's all about um, the, the concept of critical thinking is an important thing that we don't teach that often um, and problem solving is like I use problem solving all the time in my job and um, the fact that I am a good problem solver is actually one of the things that is called out day to day like that when work has a complex problem I tend to get dialed in because I'm a comp I, I can solve complex problems I can see large complex data sets and I can focus in and I, I can narrow down on that we don't teach that skill anymore it is something I developed over years um, and we get a lot of people in who don't have those critical thinking skills so I think it's a wonderful thing um, so let's have a look at the quiet 15 by Golden Gate and Hallelujah. I'm not sure who they are, but great. Um, I'm not sure I've met them. Maybe I have. I've met quite a few people from the class. Um, and yeah, I, I'm just looking forward to this series. So this is the next batch of five. This is the first one. Let's have a look at the puzzle. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine have to be placed without repetition. Cells separated by an X must sum to 10. Cells separated by a V must sum to five. Not all X's and V's are necessarily given. So it would be perfectly fine for these cells to sum to five or these cells to sum to five or 10. I've kind of swayed a bit different on whether we pr state that um, in rules anymore because we don't state that not all other constraints are given. Um, and it came from, yeah, I've gone into this, but anyway. And then on green German whisper lines, adjacent digits must have a difference of at least five. So we know that these two digits have a, a difference of at least five. These two digits have at least difference of at least five. These two digits have a difference of at least five. They're the rules of the puzzle. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Before I do that, I'm going to restart again. This puzzle is probably in, there is a pack called Signet Sudoku Volume one. This puzzle is probably in that, I did not check, um, which is a actual physical book as well as a PDF available for free, but you can buy a physical book of it as well. Um, it is linked to on my free Patreon. You can go to my Patreon page and there'll be a link to it. I will try and provide a link below if I remember as well. Um, and it is a book of puzzles that have been created by the 
class. I am presenting some of the puzzles here, but you should absolutely go and check out Signet Sudoku. Um, sorry, I, I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my time again. I am all over the place today. This is why I am just completely flummoxed by stuff. Um, restart the puzzle to restart my timer. I am, oh my lord, five minutes into the video. Let's give this a shot. So we know that this digit is five different from six, but Within the digits one to nine, there is only one digit that is five different from six, which is a one. Now, this must be five different from one. Now, if you think about it, first of all, you can never put five on a German whisper line because there's no digit between one and nine that is five apart. And as you noticed from this, this went from a digit above five to a digit below five because of the fact that no digit can be five. Every digit has to be above or below five just by nature of existence now. Um, and if it's below five, you can't go down. You must go up. And the five difference mean it will go over the five. You add five to go over five. And if it's above five, you can't go up. So you're going to subtract five and you'll end up below five. So you're always going to alternate above five, below five, above five, below five, or as we call it, high, low, high, low. This is a low digit. So this must be a high digit. It can't be a six. So it'll be a seven, eight, nine. But because of this X clue, if this is a nine, this would be a one. So this can't be a nine. This is going to be a seven or an eight. This is going to be a two or a three. Now we can never put a five on a German whisper line. So this is going to be the five. Now, I could start here and color, and I'm actually going to because I know this is low, so this is low and this is low, but I also know in this box, I know that this is a four and this is a six. Why do I know that? Because these digits, as I said, they will always alternate high, low, high, low. So I know that these have the same high, low polarity, so this had to be um, a low digit, but none of these cells here could either be four or six because four only has one partner. And if you look at all of those cells, they each have two partners within the same box. Four could only go next to nine. So if I put a four in any of those cells, I would have had to have put two nines in the box. If I put six into any of those cells, I would have had to have put two ones in the box. So I couldn't do that. So these were a four, six pair, but because this was a two, this had to be the same. These had to be the low cells so this had to be the four. This is now a one, three pair. If this is a three, that would be a two and a can't be. So that's the one, that's the four, this is the three. These are now seven, eight, and nine. I can't put seven next to three, so that's the seven, and this is an eight, nine, but the four makes that the nine, and that the eight. The three makes that the seven, which makes this a three. The one, of course, made this a four. So all of that has been forced for ages. The seven makes this the eight, which makes this the two. Beautiful start, nice and like it's simple if you know the tricks. If you don't know these tricks, this puzzle could take you quite a while. So I'm imagining there'll be a lot of comments saying, This is a gas. I, I don't know the ending yet, but this is a gas. I solved it in five minutes. Great. Imagine that you are someone who has entered a class or you have come to these puzzles and you've never done it before. You don't know the tricks of German whispers. What would you, how would you find this puzzle? Try and empathize with new people to the hobby. Just for a minute. <laughs> Try. These are two, five, and nine, um, but I can't put two there. Not sure yet. Um, now, I do, of course, I should go here. This is a one, which Xs to a nine. So I know that this is a low digit. So it's two, three, or four. Two, three, or four. What, what am I doing? Two, three, or four, because it has to be the same high, low polarity. Now, if this, so this is now six, seven, or eight. Now, these are high digits, so they are 6, 7, or 8 because they can't be 9. This can't be 6 because that can't be a 1. Um, so this is 7 or 8. This can't be a 1 either, so that's not a 6. This is a 7, 8 pair. Okay. Um, now, this is a low digit because you can only put 1, 2, 3, and 4 on a V. So this is the low digit. This can't be a 4 because those would both need to be 9. So this isn't a 1. At 2, 3, 4 there, this is 6, 7, or 8, and it's not 7. So this isn't 7. This isn't 3. So this isn't 2. This is a 1 or a 3. Um, this is low. So it's 1, 2, 3 because it can't be 4. Um, these are high. So these are six, seven, eight, because the other high digit is gone. I can't put six in the middle. So one of these has to be a one because one of these has to be a six. But so, oh, there's no three in these. The three looks across making this the one, this the four, this the six. This is now a two. Um, this one means that one of these had to be a six. So that's now the six because this can't be a six anymore. It makes that a seven, eight pair. This is the five. Uh, 
uh, not sure how to resolve that. This isn't a six, so this isn't a four because of the six looking down. This can't be one, four anymore. So this is two, three, giving me a two, three and a seven, eight pair in the box, uh, in the column, sorry. Six is down here somewhere by Sudoku. Okay. Now, is it this? Because this is too high and too low. I know five is in one of those two because you can never put five on an X either. Like a five is always a high and a low. Um, sorry, an X is always a high and a low. Wow. Doing well today, aren't I? <laughs> um, so this must have a high digit on it. It's either six, four. I can't use seven, eight. So it's, or it's nine, one. They're the only possibilities because I can't put the one or the four there. And I can't use two, three, uh, two, seven or three, eight because the seven and the eight are gone. Mm. What about here? I need to put a low digit on this. So this can't be one, nine. It can't be four, six, and it can't be two, eight. So this is three, seven. So this is two, five or nine, and it's not nine. So this is two or five. This is just a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These, this is two, six or eight. Now, this is not seven or eight. So this isn't the eight. This is two or six. Eight is down here somewhere. This is two, six. Oh, that means this is the five because two, six, eight, triple which means there's no five here. This is the five. And this is a triple. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, four, nine. Well, there's no four there. There's no one there. There's no nine there. That's the four. This is a one, nine pair, which means this cannot be one, nine, because if this is one, nine, this cell would be, have nothing in it. So this is four and six, which means that there's no six there. Six is in one of those two by Sudoku, because I can't put six in any of those. So six is in one of those two, taking six out of there. That's a two, eight pair. That becomes a six. This is now a two or a three for the row. So this is a triple. It's one, can't be two, three, can't be four, five, can't be six, seven, eight, one, five, nine. There's no one there. But this is a one, five, nine triple. So five is in one of those two in that triple, and that's not a five, giving me a one, nine pair. Meaning five is in one of those two, because it's in one of those three, but that five looks down. Four is in one of those, but it's not there. This is a four, six pair. Because four couldn't be there or there because of the fours looking up and four couldn't be there. Four was put onto the X. So this is a four, six pair. It's cool stuff going on here. Nine, two works, eight, one works. So I'm not sure what this, this whisper line is probably, once I get one of the digits, I'll get the other. So is it this? Because I have to put a low onto that. I have to put a high onto that. Oh, where's four in this box? It's not there. This is the four. So these are one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, and they must have a five and a nine in them. There's no seven or eight there. This is just five or nine. What is this triple actually? This is one, five, nine, isn't it? So this is one, five, nine. There's no one there. This is a one because of the five, nine pair. That's a, oh, there's no seven there. This is a five, eight, nine triple because of that seven. That's a seven. That's an eight. That's been there for a while. I just didn't use it correctly. 
So the seven looks down, making that the eight, which makes that the two, which makes that the three, which makes that the two. That puts two in one of those two cells. Which means, of course, this is the three, which puts three on one of those two cells. If that's a two, that's a three. Because of the alternating polarity trick. And this would have to be eight or nine. I think it can be. This is one five. Oh, this is now seven. So this is now eight. And now seven is up here. Seven is on this line. So it has to go with one or two. And it can't go with one. So the seven has to go next to a two because the other digits are all too close. Um, can't eight, nine are too close. Three, four, five, and six are all too close. So seven can only go next to one and two. So if this is a seven, this is a one or a two, and it can't be a one, so it'd be two. If this is a seven, this would have to be a one or a two, but it can't be either of them. So that's not the seven. That's the seven. This is a one or a two, and it's a two. Now, this is the low digit, and it's not one, two, or four, so it's three. So this is eight or nine. And this is a five, eight, nine, triple. This is a five, eight, nine, triple. That was a very cool resolution. The two, of course, makes that nine, which makes that two, which looks back making that the eight, which takes eight out of there. The eight looks down taking eight out of there. The five, nine pair makes that the eight. This is now a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, seven, and nine. There's no one there. There's no nine there. Oh, the four, six looks down making that the three and that the six. So three... Is in one of those? Not sure. This is this is nice. Like it does the the initial deductions are very very clear, but there's a lot to think about here. The four makes this six and four, or maybe not. Um, the one two three and seven. I'm not immediately seeing how that resolves. So this is a five or a nine for the row. It's got to be this. Oh, this eight makes this two, which makes this eight. The two means this can't be the one. So that's the nine. That's the one. That takes nine out of both of those. So this is the nine. This is the five. This is the one. The five looks up making that nine and that five, which looks up making that nine, which makes that five. The nine looks across making that five, which looks down saying that's not the five. That's the five. Stuff. Now, does that resolve any of this? This is a triple now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, eight, and nine. There's an eight there. There's a one and an eight there. So that's the nine. That's the one. That's the eight. The nine looks down making that the seven. So that's the one and that's the nine. Now, the seven looks up making that the three and that the seven. I'm pretty much down to a single box now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So six, the seven makes this three and seven. In here, I need to put a two and a three, and I'll use that three to make that the two and that the three. And that is the correct solution to the quiet 15. I'm not sure why it's called the quiet 15. Maybe I missed something, um, but that was fun. Like a nice coffee break puzzle. And set by someone who is only just learning the logic of the puzzles and how they work. And yeah, doing stuff like this to, to teach how those work. A lot of people pick on puzzles that do stuff that that's, that's that obvious. But if you look at any of the Cracking the Cryptic apps and you look at the, the puzzles in like the first third or even half of those apps, you will see things like this in them. Now, I, um, I actually haven't looked at, I've got the line puzzle, but I haven't looked at it. But I, when I was solving the sandwich apps and the arrow and the killer and all of those, um, then you would see things like, you know, sandwich clues with, um, you know, the one and the nine given and all of that sort of stuff, because they're trying to teach you the logic. And this is doing that. It's someone who's exploring the logic for themselves, learning not by just solving puzzle after puzzle after puzzle, but creating to do it. And I highly recommend that. I learn more in creating puzzles, um, 
about those constraints that I do from setting. Uh, sorry, what I do setting that I do from solving. Um, and it reinforces those ideas. Even if you never release the puzzles to anyone, I've got hundreds of puzzles I've never released to anyone because I was just exploring something. And the things I learned from those puzzles, I then use in better puzzles, which I do release. Um, so yeah, that's the way it works for me. Very, very cool puzzle. Thank you, Golden Gate and Hallelujah. And thank you, of course, to Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards for putting it all together. Um, I will see you tomorrow for a new, another Sudoku U video. And as always, good luck with your solving.